I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. We're likely going to see interest rates going up next week at the Bank of Canada, but after that, going into 2019, Central Bank might be going on pause. Today's inflation and retail sales numbers from StatsCan point to, well, a slowing pace of, for the cost of living and a little bit of a pullback in consumer spending. And this has many analysts thinking that after next week's expected interest rate hike by the Bank of Canada, which will be the fifth in this tightening cycle, they might just move to the sidelines to see if the Canadian economy can withstand further interest rate hikes into 2019. The inflation rate for the month of September slowed to just 2.2 percent. Now, the core reading, which takes out food and energy prices, was at around 2 percent. That's the one the Bank of Canada tracks, so it's in line with the target. Retail spending, meantime, slumped by a tenth of a percent for the month of August. All this interest rate talk and economic signals had the Canadian dollar drifting to a five-week low today, holding just above 76 cents U.S. Price for gas is coming down going into the weekend to $1.21.9, down by a penny is the forecast at midnight tonight, and that would be the lowest price since last February. Roger McKnight of Enpro saying this has to do with rising supplies in the pipeline system for gasoline and the fact that it's a, a seasonal factor as well. The winter blends are a little bit cheaper. And we've got uh, the price for oil this week down by about 4%. Could actually see some further reductions in gasoline prices early next week. Update on Amazon's search for its second North American headquarters. Wall Street Journal is saying that Amazon has had return visits to a number of cities on the top 20 that were listed by the company earlier this year, including New York City, Newark, New Jersey, Washington, D.C., Miami, and uh, Chicago. Now, the journal did not mention Toronto or the GTA, which was on Amazon's top 20 list of possible candidates. Bloomberg News had pre previously reported, however, that Amazon did indeed come into the city to discuss uh, the options of putting their second North American headquarters in this city. And that could be a $5 billion project with 50,000 jobs over several years. Amazon's criteria, they want the headquarters to be within a 50-kilometer radius of the downtown core in about 45 minutes at most from any major airport. There are no front runners, according to the Wall Street Journal, still not yet. And the decision is expected before the end of the year. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.